I'm trying to encourage you to take a look at it, to maybe look at other videos, other YouTube videos from Bob Wells over at Cheap RV Living, uh, Linda over Serene Simple Life, and then also Chrome uh, from Van City Van Life. Look at these guys. Look at them and look how they live and what that brings to them. And then find out exactly why they are doing what they're doing. And you'll find out, maybe you'll find out that there's something missing in your life. different types of nomads out there. Some of us that like to do boondocking. Some of us that like more of a black top type of nomad. Uh, somebody that likes to stay within the city, a city dweller, so to speak. Yeah, so you nomads that. that like boondocking. And another word for that would be, for me, would be camping. So... If I do it, I like doing it once in a while. I'm not really big on doing it full time. Uh, I like the hustle and bustle of the city. I really do. I like uh, to know exactly what's going on in the city. I like all that. There are times I do go camping or boondocking in order to uh, get myself uh, maybe to clear my head. But uh, a lot of people have stereotyped nomads to the point where we look at them and we, we already think we know who they are. We think they don't work, they uh, are looking for handouts, and that's the farthest thing from the, the truth because the modern nomad now is a lot different. And, and I'll give an example. A lot of them are like me. They're, they just got sick and tired of working in the rat race. And then they stopped and smelled the roses for one moment. And after they did that, then they lived their life trying to smell those roses. And that's really what type of nomad I am. And I've met a lot of them on the road that are very similar. And then obviously there's the ones that are in dire need and uh, they need help because financially uh, their life is in turmoil. So the ones that are well or better off the ones that can make remote income and can make more than what they can live on, then we should band together and we should uh, reach out and start giving and start helping that community for the people that are really suffering. Because if they're suffering at this level of the game, there's no other suffering any worse. There really isn't. Uh, I think it's our duty, our human duty, to at least reach out to them. And I guess if you look at it, even with Slab City, the greatest thing that you can take out of that is that it's about touching other people. About I have over 37 years business experience creating income. And just in the last five years did I start devoting that time to producing remote income. Subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted of every new video I come out with. One thing I got out of it is meeting a lot of people on the road, nomads, is understanding that there's different levels of nomads. Just like there is in the stick and bricks or in the homes and in, in, in your uh, rural areas, uh, there's different levels. There's also different levels within this community as well. Uh, the bad thing about it is I never realized how much there was. Because there are a lot of people that really are in dire states uh, financially and that puts them into it where they're forced to do this because they can't afford an apartment or a home. Uh, maybe their social security is lower than what they ever anticipated and maybe they didn't plan as well as they probably should. But there's also another type of nomad. There's a nomad such as myself who just got tired of paying every month whether we could afford it or not. It wasn't that. It was that every month that X amount of dollars went out and when it went out it took me a lot of work in order to produce that type of dollars in order to pay for it. I just get tired of paying for things that I thought was unnecessary. Because mostly when I learned when it sticks and bricks is all I really did is mostly I used it for sleeping. 
the rest of the times was hanging out or I was somewhere else. So really there was no real great value for me to have it. All it was is strapping me. And I got tired of being strapped. I got tired of my life being strapped by paying that amount of money every month. I thought many times how many people I could touch with that type of money, that amount of money, if I wasn't going out to like rent or going out to some of the utilities that people in sticks or bricks normally have. I wanted something better than that. I really did. I didn't want all my money going out like that. So I thought, hey, what if I made the same amount of money or more and my overhead was less? Then I could start paying off some of my past debts, which I have. Uh, and then maybe I'll have a little extra money that maybe I can throw to someone that I think is in dire need as well. Maybe I can just touch somebody's life throughout this whole process. Now something, people think, oh, I can't be a nomad. I can't live in my vehicle full time, you know, 12 months out of the year. You really surely don't have to. All you have to do is live in your vehicle a part, part of the time. Most people encourage people, if you're going to start it, go out and do a weekend. Go do a night and see how you feel with that. Make it comfortable for you, but sometimes it's all about working through it in order to get to where you want to be, where you feel comfortable. And it's hard to explain unless you really do that, unless you force yourself to do it. I remember people offering me their couch and an extra bedroom, and I kept on saying, no, no, I'll sleep in my bedroom. And they thought I was crazy, but I wasn't crazy as I was forcing myself to sleep in the bedroom in my vehicle. That way I had to get used to it. That way I had to make changes to conform to it. And it's amazing. Now I look at it and sometimes in the afternoon I'll look at it and I can't wait till I can lay in it again. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty big. And to me, that's all I need is to be comfortable in everything I do, from showering to taking uh, the essentials as far as taking a poop, going to the bathroom, peeing, and also how I spend my time in the afternoon as well. So join me, and remember, I will see you on a life of a freedom mobile living. This has enriched my life. It has turned my life in where every day I wake up, I'm not unhappy. I have something to live for. I, now, I really want you to join with me. If you really got anything out of this video, I ask that you subscribe below and hit the notification bell. And that way I'll notify you every time a video comes out. Now, one of the things that I want to do is our Patreon account, which is out and designed to help others. So all the money we raise in our Patreon account, we're going to give out to people in dire need in the community. And then we want to film it. So we want the money to take the money. And if we do distribute it out or give it out to people in the community, we want to film it and then show the folks on the YouTube channel uh, what we can do and what, what, how it impacts other people's lives. And maybe you can join with me. So go ahead, subscribe below, hit that notification bell, join with me and make a statement and say, hey, you care about the people who are less fortunate in this community and we can join together to help each other.